I know this video is just me going <laughs> bloodhounding the, you know. Hey youans, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie B L V Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this ho. Okay, girl. In this huge box, it is my return from Rebag. So this is story part two of why I will never purchase a thing from Rebag. And I haven't touched anything in the box. I just opened it because it came and it said it was from New York. So I didn't remember ordering anything. Well, <laughs> she's ordered some stuff, but this big, I was like, what? <laughs> What's going on? You know, usually <laughs> she loves something big. But anyway... <laughs> Um, I wanted to sort of unbox what I already own with you and see. Remember, Rebag told me that they were going to take both of my bags in trade for a mini Capucines bag that I wanted from their site. Then they pulled the switcheroo. There's a whole video on it. I will link it down below. Um, you might see it go above my head, too. You can click that link. But, but stay with me now. So they said, it's been back and forth. They email you so much. One hand does not know what the other hand is doing. One email will say, we'll send your bag back. Another email will say, we're sending your items with an S. You'll read the email and it'll say, your item, no S, is on it. So, you know, I could never really get, I, I got a few um, emails, I mean, out of the hundreds, from this whole fiasco that did say, yeah, we're going to send both your bags back. And I was like, cool, as long as I get them back in the same condition that I sent you. Uh, remember, they wouldn't take my cousin because they said, oh, it, it has a, um, one of the guys that worked there, I believe he said foul odor. And then the emails kept saying strong and heavy odor. Okay. Unpleasant, I think, is one of the terms that they've used. I mean, it's, it's been up and down the GD line, okay? <laughs> so, just to be quite honest with you. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not uh, spilling things over here because I keep my water over here. All right, girl. Should I do the Fendi or... <laughs> should she do the Fendi? Should, should I unbox the Fendi or the Cousin first? We'll save the Cousin because that's the one they said they didn't want. So, my Fendi should be... Here's the Cousin. Um, my Fendi should be okay. I want to put this great big box down because it's humongous. So here's the Fendi. And this is how, so last time I did, um, not just the video, but when I did really trade some things for this bag from them, uh, they didn't accept several of the things. And I kind of understood that because those items were really used. Although they sell things that are in terrible shape anyway. So, what are you going to do? But this is how they do it. They package it back up in your uh, nice dust bag, which is how I sent this to them. Um, and then they put it in this cellophane, plasticky wrap. Okay. I'm, whatever. And it's got a little sticky. Here we go. <laughs> I was looking for the flat girl. Oh, she's always said that. But here is... From Rebag, my return, you bitches. <laughs> Not you guys, them. Yeah. Usually I say, hey, bitch, in a nice and loving tone. Today, Rebag gets it in a <laughs> F-U tone. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, all right. So, here we go. I'm pulling it out of the dust bag. And it looks to be same dust bag. Yep. Yeah. Now, it smells like leather, just like I sent it to them. It's, there's no, mm -mm. there's no odors, no strong, nothing. Um, it's the exact same bag that I sent to them. Yes, it is, girl. Yes, it is. Uh, the strap came back, shoved in the way that, <laughs> I do do notice, I do notice, excuse me, I do do notice that they did put some bubble wrap in there and I guess to keep it shaped. Or did I do that the other day? But yeah, it's, I mean, they didn't have it long enough to F's around with it too bad. So, this is the bag they desired to keep and then, you know, 
sell for tons and tons more. I will, however, if you are watching this, make you a really good deal. If you are somebody who wants to own this Fendi medium uh, shopper tote, okay, with the ivory handles and the dust bag and the strap comes with it. So, uh, I will list that down in my box. If you are interested at all, email me and we can talk about it. Okay, so on to the one that they said they didn't want that had a strong, foul, heavy, terrible odor, unpleasant. Okay, bitch. <laughs> now remember, every time I say the B word, that is to them. They gets no love from me ever. They're dead to me, guys. They really are. Like, I see them on the side of the street. I cross to the other side with a middle finger. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, never again. Um, just to prolong this out further, don't forget coming up. I usually don't post back to back. So, if you're seeing, like, a video yesterday and today, I usually don't post on Thursdays. But... I figured this was important, so let's go on and get it out there as soon as I get it. Uh, but next Tuesday on my live, uh, 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, put that on your calendar because we're going to have a very special guest, Candy's uh, Love for LV. Yes, yeah, she's going to come on and tell her rebag horror story. She said she recorded it once and then she deleted it because she thought it was just too much and now she's like I'm telling everything to everybody so anyway that will be a good live okay so this is how I sent it to them you know in um and and I sent them a dust bag because I think I did not get one and usually when I have uh, older dust bags when I sell some things to say fashion file or in this case rebag um yeah, I just give them an older, I'm not giving them anything great <laughs> as far as that goes. But, honey, the dust bag smells nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. And y'all know I have a keen sense of smell. Nothing. I can't even smell leather. Like, I don't smell a nothing on the outside of the bag. It does not have any. Nothing inside either. There's, guys, oh my God. There's nothing in here. It, it kind of, um, it kind of smells like maybe a little bit of a, like a rubbery smell. I don't know why that would be, but I, no, there's nothing. There is nothing. It kind of smells like somebody, <laughs> for a second, uh, had some of the stanky weed in there for a minute. But no, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like perfume. It does, it does not stink. It does not stink. Like, they are full of, seriously, there's not any unpleasant, I can only imagine that maybe the chain Gave off something? I don't know. But there's not... I, I, I am so mad. I know this is mine. Because, you know, I was saying, I thought they didn't take it because the when you leave the pouch open like they did on this, it kind of sticks up a little bit and then you get an indentation on the leather. So, yeah, girl. I am going to be moving this on probably. I don't know. And then I knew there was one little scuffy part right here. And that was it. But it does not stink, guys. It doesn't. It just really doesn't. Like, I'm so pissed. <laughs> They're so full of shit. Oh, my God. No. Mm -mm. No. Like, like, for a second, I got like a, like, maybe it was the chain giving off, like, almost a, like a late, you know, when you wear like a latex glove, you get gloves out of a pack and you get that latex smell a little bit. It kind of did give that off at first, but I mean, it's not been in my possession. I assure you, it doesn't stink and it's not, it's like a balloon. Like, you know, that, you know, you got a balloon right here and you're blowing it up. It's kind of giving off that. Um, I don't know where that would have come from because I don't even keep a like air paper thing in here or anything um 
girl, it does, it, <laughs> they are so full of effing, you know what, seriously, I can't even with them, okay, I mean, I'll put a charcoal pack in it just for grins and gigs if the chain is giving off some kind of whatever, I, but it's not, I can assure you, like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, if it stank or if it had a bad, bad odor, girl, I would tell it, but it's, it smells like leather and maybe, I don't know if it, it's this little thing. I don't know. But just like when you blow up a balloon, a faint smell of like maybe that. And I don't, I didn't smell that when it left. But it's not, it, <laughs> you have to really, and I have sensitive, keen, olfactory senses, okay? Um, no. Like, you have to really kind of get down in there and breathe it in to even get... I don't even know what that would be. But it's not. I mean, I guess it's kind of a byproduct of leather, maybe. This smells like nothing. Nothing. I smell... Girl, I smell absolutely nothing. I know this video is just me going... <laughs> Bloodhounding, you know. <laughs> but... I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, there's nothing inside. The chain, I don't know if it would give off some sort of, and now I don't really even smell that, so I don't know. Maybe I need to go sniff some coffee and then start over, but I don't even have perfume on today. I just took a shower literally like an hour ago and, um, you know, threw on some concealer and called it a day, but, but I don't even have anything on myself to like hinder I didn't do that on purpose I just was being lazy and I'm working right now I'm actually on my lunch so wow I am super pissed off that they are so full of crap when they do list things on their site that does contain odors they list stuff mine doesn't and they sent it back because it had an a strong it doesn't so there we go. There's the proof in the pudding. I'm going to take this around my family because my daughter's here today and when Bill comes home and they're all out um, eating lunch and having a good time. <laughs> when they, There's three other adults or, you know, a teenager and two adults in the house. I'm going to have them. I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to say, hey, tell me if you smell anything in this bag. We'll see. I should record them doing that. I don't have time. I want to get this up, but yeah. It, it, there's nothing guys there is nothing it makes me even matter just tell somebody that you don't want to sell their bag after you've said you did fine don't lie it's freaking lies and that is the worst be transparent just say hey we thought we could take the bag but we have several just like yours that aren't selling and we need money right now you don't even have to tell me you need money. But you are money hungry, Rebag. We can see that. I mean, I get it. But still, it's not right. It's lies, inconsistencies, one person not knowing what the other person is doing, someone saying it was foul, you know, strong, heavy, unpleasant. Oh, mm -mm. None of that could be further. I mean, it couldn't be further from the truth. None of that is true. <sighs> So anyway, I'm going to think about, I don't know if I want to, but yeah, if you guys are into this, if somebody wants to make me a good offer on this, we'll consider that. But yeah, it's, guys, nothing. Oh my God, they are so, oh, all right. So I knew I had smelled both of these bags before I even put them into the Dagon dust bags. Wow, rebag. So my items are safe and back um, in the exact same way that I sent them to them. So we're good there. I just won't ever deal with them. And I strongly urge you, if you do have dealings with them, be very careful. Be leery. Um, they'll, you know, if they'll do it to me and the hundreds of other people that have commented about them doing things to them, uh, candy for one, like they'll pull some crap on you too. That's just my take on it. So, um, will we ever get back together? That's a hell no. <laughs> I'm all cried out 
over you. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, Saturday, I do have a video of which one is real. It'll be another really obvious thing, guys. But just for fun, could you watch that one for me, too? And there will be several videos suggested to you at the end. Just click on one of those. Keep watching, watching and watching and watching. Thank you so much. Hit the uh, thumbs up, subscribe. Oh my gosh, I am literally like 50 people away from having 8,000 subscribers. Yay! Um, anyhow, do me one more favor. If y'all see my husband, girl, woohoohoohoo, don't tell him nothing. Bye. bag stinks you know it stinks them <laughs> i can't even i can't even think of anything but yeah this was dirty even for you tea bag rebag whatever your name is you bitches <laughs> trying to screw over the little guy as usual middle fingers biatch